Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dunkel again. Let's make a pie chart this time. And remember that a pie chart is a good chart to use when you are representing 100%. Uh, so you're taking something that is a percentage and you want to show how that percentage is broken down. So let me give you a for instance. Let's say uh, as a teacher, I want to know how many people in my first period class made A, B, C's, D's, or F's on the test. Uh, so I'll, let's, I'm going to label this, um, let's say, grades on test. Notice how I'm going further. If you recall from an earlier um, tutorial, you can put your cursor in between the A and the B and double click, and that will perfectly size it. Uh, so let's say we had in first period we had six people make A's, we had 12 people make B's, uh, four C's, one D, and one F. And as you notice, my A's justified left, but my number's justified right. Remember, if I want to fix that, I can just click on the column heading and go ahead and justify that for center. Uh, and remember, you don't have to do this one by one. You can actually click on your C, hold your shift key down, and click on your last uh, column heading, and that selects them all, and then center, right like that. So I have my A, B, C, D, E, F um, categories, and this is the grades on the test. And so I'm going to select all of this data, just like before. I'm going to use the shift click method, go to insert, and go to pie chart. And you'll notice I've got some different ones, like a three-dimensional uh, notice there's not as many options here. These you'll want to avoid. Uh, there are some reasons to use them, but um, the ones you're going to stick with are these two. Let's do the 3D one this time. So I'm going to click on 3D, drag him over just a little bit. Um, I can go in here and obviously I could change this around if I want to say test number one. Um, let's say for first period. Okay. Now, one thing that's interesting, if I come here, you'll notice my chart elements have a lot fewer. So, for instance, uh, I've got data labels, and that's pretty much it. Notice that it makes it smaller when I do that, and that's something to play around with a little bit. Uh, so, I've added that here, and I'm going to leave the labels because it, it makes it where people can see, you know, just how many had 12, uh, you know, how many were the others. And what's cool about it is it will go ahead and put them into percentages itself. You notice I didn't put any percentages here, but Excel's able to figure it out. If I hover here, you'll notice it says 50%. Uh, if I hover here, 25%. And that's why it's it's made the pies like that, half a pie, 50%. Um, when you go in here, remember to to kind of play around with what's going to be the easiest to read. If you look at the one in the dark blue, it's a little bit dark. So there's a variety of ways I could deal with that. But in this case, I could either you know put the labels on the outside, then it's black text against white background, or I could do little call outs like that. I'm just going to do outside there, and I have a pie chart. It's good and ready to go. So that's how you make a pie chart.